What's going on guys, it's Pace Abuser Cam here and I'm finally back. I've moved into my apartment, I'm all settled in college, and I'm so excited to play FIFA 17. I played on the EA Access um, thing, I loved it. So um, today I got for you a squad builder. This is my first team that I'm going to be using FIFA 17. So let's get right into it. In goal we have the legend, Pepe Reina. 84 rated, can you believe that? That's awesome. Alright, so for my two center backs, we got Sky Napoli. His name is Tonelli. And we have. Alfara from West Ham. What I've noticed in FIFA 17 is that players are really really strong, especially center backs, and it's really hard to get past them. So, like, I was going to put Bonucci, but I didn't have enough coins. But these two partnership together are really good. I really enjoyed them. Um, Ogbonna was super strong, and you know how I like to have my lefties on the left and my righties on the right. And they both have high work rates, defensive work rates, which really helped. Um, my left back is Masuaku. And my right back is is Bruno Perez. Let me get to him. And my back line is amazing. Um, what I really like about this FIFA 17 is strength, height, passing, more realistic aspects of the game are more um, what's important. Bruno Perez has 75 physical, which is not bad. My two center backs have pretty good physicals at 77, but they have good strength. Um, Masuaku at 73, which is not bad. But I feel like defenders are just overpowered in the game, so my back line worked out really well. Um, the only thing that I would uh, change is probably getting Benucci because his card is insane, but he's 87 rating. He's going for 30k, so I don't know if it's worth it right now. Um, and I have the wrong formation, but um, let's go into um, the midfield, which is probably the most important part in FIFA 17 is the midfield. So on the left center mid, we have the new five-star skiller, Thiago, which I'm so happy about. Um, center center mid, we got Ender Herrera, also four-star skills, and we have... Borja, Borja Valero, Valero, always mess that up. I had um, right center mid. You know how I like having four star skills in the midfield. And like I said before, passing is really important FIFA 17. So we got 82 passing on Thiago, 81 on Herrera, and 85 on Valero. I really, um, I was really worried because I thought, you know, defending would be kind of low, we got 64, 63, and 57. So I like having a nice, kind of tall center, center mid who can like win headers and stuff like that. But you know, I actually really enjoyed this midfield because passing is the key, major key in FIFA 17. Like, Thiago is unbelievable. Honestly, I just do like a elastico or something and just play a through ball to my forwards. And you know, it's as easy as that. But I also just have to really get down, um, just playing those through balls and feeding it out wide. Um, my right wing is Williams. Beast. Unbelievable. He has 80 plus strength. I don't remember what it is, but he's super strong and super fast, which is also another key to FIFA 17 is having wingers who can just bomb down the wing and just whip it in. Uh, my left wing... You know, I like to use my skillers. So I could have went with either Reberry or um, Douglas Costa or Kingsley Coleman. But I decided to go with uh, Costa because he wasn't that expensive and he has a five star skills. And he was great. Same pace as Williams 92. Um, super fast. Just like I said, going down the wing, whipping it into the striker. And it's, if it goes to the back post, it's always a goal. And my striker is the new transferred. 
Perez, who went to Arsenal. And I don't understand why they gave him 76 pace, honestly, because in real life he's rapid. He's really fast. But um, um, he has a four-star skill, so does Williams. So my front six all have four-star or above. And Perez was awesome for me because I've realized that your striker needs to have really good, um, not really good, but decent short passing. So when you can get the ball, you can do a quick one too and just go down the wing and whip it in. But um, Perez did the job. 76 passing is not bad, and he was pretty physical. He's one of those players, you know, like Aguero, that um, if you whip it in, they'll always win the header for some reason. He's not super tall. He's like 5'10". Yeah, 5'11". Uh, so he's, he's actually not that bad. But he did win his headers, and he was just one of those players that just like sneakily goes in the box and just wins it. His positioning was really good as well. Um, so basically, this is this is my team. I'm gonna be using this for a little bit. I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the highlights. Um, as I said, I'm finally you know all settled in. You know, I'm kind of fixing my you know. Right now, I'm like in my living room with my laptop right here. So I'm trying to you know get this set up right. Maybe just like set up in my room or something. Um, so I use this team a little bit for EA access. It cost me about. I want to say 60k maybe. Tiago was like 11. Uh, where's he at? Yeah, he was like 10k. And Costa was 30. So prices now probably went down just a little bit, a couple k. So I want to say maybe like 55k. And I want to say it's worth it. Um, really give it a try if, if you like skilling or just like four star skills. This is a good team, good solid team. The defensive part in the midfield really didn't affect me. They won the ball. Pretty well. I mean, basically my, my back line was just covering everything up. But my, my midfield was really, they were all tracking back and they all get forward. But um, I don't know, they won the ball a lot. So I can't really complain. They both they have like good work rates. Um, Hura has high high, so he gets back a lot. And he's pretty tall as well, so he won headers. But yeah, this team was really good. Um, tell me what you think. Um, I'm going to be making... Weekly videos, probably more than weekly, more maybe like two videos a week, something like that, if you guys like it. Um, give me some suggestions as well. I have another team, um, a fitness squad, which I could make a video around if you guys want. But um, yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, follow me on Insta, Foothead, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, guys. Let me know what you think.